what we wanted to talk to you about today was, you know, we really want to know if we're going to have any type of physical problems with you guys because we want to avoid that at all costs. I'll tell you the best way to avoid that is to start adhering to the Constitution, recognize that there are rights here that you are violating, and simply do not show up. And all of that will be put to a stop that simply. Okay. And that's the easy way to handle that. Well, I, I have to be—I have to be honest, and I have to inform you that that that's not an option. You guys have any uh, any reason to be out here? Same as you. Just hanging out. Yeah. Okay. You all know that this is all part of a closure. If you feel like you want to express your First Amendment rights, we have a First Amendment area that's set up for you guys. If you want to go to your First Amendment area, then you're fine by going going to the First Amendment area, okay? Yeah, for sure. Well, do you know we have a First Amendment right yeah. area? Yes. Have you guys been out there to it? Okay. Well, that's our First First Amendment area, okay? I understand that you guys have strong opinions about what, what the BLM and Park Service are doing out here, but... This is this is not the place to not the place to do it. Does it look like the authority to arrest me? I don't have authority to me, Joe. You might shoot me, but you really don't have the authority to do that either. I think that the only way you're going to get through some of these people is just put the silver bracelets yeah. on them and take them, and then then maybe they'll think twice about it. Attorney's office just just put out no arrest authority. No arrest authority. So, okay. really? so even if you scratch them a ticket, they're still going to sit here. No arrest authority is no what this. They sit side them. If they refuse the information, we'll figure out who they are. No arrest. Great. Great. Good info. Could you please leave? I will. I am okay. going to leave. Okay, now. But I can't leave without. Me. Okay. He's a grown man. He is. Okay. My He's being dealt with. Okay. Sir, this is the last time I'm going to ask you. So your first choice is to leave. Okay. It's your first choice, sir, to leave, to leave, okay? Sir, sir, leave now, leave now, leave now. Leave now, sir, leave. We're not playing this game all day. Leave, okay? Now, I'm gonna, I'm gonna drag you out of the car, okay, here in a second. I'm, leave now, leave now, you have your children in the car. Don't act like this, okay, sir? You have your children in the car. Just go, Dad. Go, okay? You guys are <laughs> Sir? Sir, don't do this in front of your kids, okay? Leave now, please. Okay? Take the baby down. I am leaving. I'm in the process okay. of leaving. Go to the speed limit, okay? Go to the speed limit. Dr. Cliven Bundy is, uh, is on the show. Welcome to the Pete Santilli Show. Federal government has set up uh, corral areas designated first amendment speech areas is that correct they said that you can only exercise your constitutional god-given rights in a certain small parcel is that correct yes that you know that's a hard for me to even believe or understand here in america picture this in your mind you have a, a guy standing leaning against the front of his car along the highway in the desert and then he's approached by all of these cars and all these men they wrestle him down, abuse him, grind his face into the grass, box, handcuff him, oh, and then they transferred him to uh, Henderson, Nevada, and put him, in, put him in the city jail there overnight, and then they picked him up that mar next day and took him to the federal prison. And he said, then all of a sudden, their attitude changed. They was very nice. They took off the shackles. They went and got him a, a sack lunch, and they... Turned him on the, out on the streets of Las Vegas. Hey! Hey! 
violence from a protest over cattle in Overton. It got to the point where one protester was even tasered. But this was only half of the fireworks with this situation. This is a story that's continuing to gain national attention. There was one guy that got a little bit out of here. Which and, and he took down Margaret. Her name is Margaret. The She's one that jumped almost and got hit by a vehicle? 56 years old. The one that almost got, that he hooks with his arm to pull out of the way of a convoy? What? He probably saved her life. Okay. Margaret. And, and, and you know that officer? He doesn't push her in the front, does he? You've seen the video. What does he do? He hooks Slammed her. her to the no, ground. he hooks her by the waist. Watch the video very closely. He hooks her with one, I think it's this arm, with one arm and pulls her behind him. Now, she obviously loses her balance and goes to the ground, but he's not taking her by the shirt and ramming her into the ground. You can watch the video. You've got the evidence. Look at it. Have you guys already investigated it? Uh, yeah, I, I, 100%. Trust me. We have. I'm all over it. I've got all the blue body recorders. They're all moving. We have our own perspective. Very clear video. Very clear officer statement. That's what I want you to do. That's what I want you to do. And I will continue to investigate it. You look at it. And I will you not, get somebody that... Uh, I will not allow my officers to exceed or violate the law. I can look at you man to man. Mm -hmm. We uphold the United States Constitution. I will hold people accountable. You're not. We, we are. There's a question as to why there's backhoes and, and, and the dump trucks, because there's a claim right now. We're not that, killing cattle. That's, that's we're not killing cattle. We don't know that. That I, was I, the whole reason I, why. That I, will tell, I will tell you right now, we're not killing cattle. That's you there saying was, there, yeah, No, and again, I'm the guy in charge. Okay. I do not lie. On behalf of the United States government, I do not lie. There are there are no baby cattle none. left out there after you guys have been... None. Been, none? Not killing. Okay. They're doing every effort that if they separate a calf, they identify it... What if I have proof of the contract? Right well, again, to get every single baby cat that's dead... Oh my goodness! Is that what you're saying? You guys are leaving them out there. No, they're they're roping. If we gather in an area, the specific area we gather in, mm -hmm. anyone that is separated is identified, and they go back and they collect it. Now, if there are baby calves in other areas, that very well could happen. Well, that's what. No matter how many people show up, we want peace, tranquility, cooperation. You guys have to do your jobs. We have to do our jobs. Uh, well. Absolutely. I mean, you want to know what the end game is? If you guys just say okay, we got to pick up marbles and go. Whoever tells you guys to do that, ultimately, that's that's what the objective is. It's not going to be an armed insurrection. It's not going to be bullets or anything like that. The ultimate goal is either by legal authority or however it goes. Mm -hmm. Your command says, guys, that's it. We're pulling up stakes. we got to go. And that's it. And if it's the sheriff that makes that happen. The fight for grazing rights at Bundy's Ranch is now drawing people from across the country. Fueled by cell phone video of BLM officers using tasers and a real physical limitation on First Amendment right. I didn't decide to go down until I saw that they had erected the free speech zones. Because everybody saw that video and they knew people were coming to protest. Um, so they put up those free speech zones and they told everybody that they could protest inside those zones. And they were like miles away from the ranch. And, and then when people weren't inside those zones, they started arresting people. Uh, rumors going on, and we saw some video and stuff like that that made us uh, upset about what was going on, going on down there, like the uh, First Amendment zones. Right. Um, people getting mistreated, some dogs sick on, saw old lady get clotheslined. And that was infuriating. And um, immediately in, in me, I was like, I, I got to get down there. Honestly, goodness, there's nobody over there that said anything about violence. Okay. If there's been talk of guns and stuff like that, hey, that's second amendment right. Carry a gun. We don't care. Carry a gun legally, lawfully. Yeah. Okay. Some messaging we got back, and again, right to bear arms, we're fine with it. Yeah. You know, our, our officers, public lands, you get to shoot on public lands. We, we do legal. I mean, if you're yeah, legal, yeah, legal, yeah, legal, yeah, legal, legal possession, legal, yeah, legal, yeah, legal, yeah, legal, legal is good. Absolutely. 
And again, I, I don't have a problem with guns. I mean, you know, it's a second amendment. I don't either. So, you know, I, but you know what? This, that's not what this is about. We're, we're not here. This isn't an armed insurrection. This is a protest. Good morning, citizens of Clark County, Nevada. Good, good morning, America. Thank you, uh, and uh, I would like to introduce our sheriff. Uh, I do want to ask that you are respectful and, and allow him to speak, and he has been elected. He does hold the authority of the people, and uh, we welcome him here. We are glad that he's here. We are grateful that he's here. We, we understand that because he's here, order is closer to, to being met. Peace is, peace is upon us, and uh, I introduce you to uh, Sheriff Glissman. Good morning. Um, Clyde and my purpose out here this morning is to uh, continue, from my standpoint, uh, to keep a very emotional issue safe. I believe a press release has already been put forth that the BLM is going to cease this operation. Uh, the Gold Butte allotment will be reopened to the public, and they will be uh, removing their assets um, what I would hope to sit down with you and talk about uh, is how that is facilitated um, in a safe way. And you and I have had the ability to sit down and talk before on a number of occasions. We have, may not always agreed, uh, but we have been respectful uh, to each other's opinion. Um, and to the process. So that's why I'm here uh, to start that with you. Number one, to advise you of that, but I was advised when I was coming here that that had already been released. I don't know if you or in the, the people here were aware of that. Uh, but the next steps um, is, is something that I, I believe you and I uh, should sit down and talk about. Um, I, so. I'll turn that back over to you, I guess. Where are the cows? Where's the cattle? Where's the, cows? Well, the cows are where they have been here for the last few days, and that's what needs to be discussed. I mean, you and I need to have a conversation about it. Now, are we going to go and take our land back and declare freedom and liberty here in this land? Is God, is, is God going to be with us? Do we all feel good? Okay. Our, one thing I'm going to do, Ivan Bundy's going to turn cattle out of his farm. They're going to go out on the open range where they belong. And we're, we're going to go and take the rest of them out of the compound trails up here above the freeway. This should be the governor of the Nevada's job, like but he's uh, actually inspecting these cattle to go to California. Yeah. So if they haven't went to California yet, let's go get those cattle. And all we got to do is turn, open the gate, and let them back down on the river, and they're home. That's it. Okay. We need a little bit of safety here. We're going to go up the freeway. We're going to block the freeway. When we get to the Tokop Bridge, we're going to get out of our cars. And we're going to uh, go uh, and open the to panels. These horse people are going to pull up the power line road, and they're going to meet us at the Toquat Bridge, underneath the Toquat to to Bridge. Get it going, cowboys. Let's go get it done. Let's get some of our people up in the front, and let's move the, the BLM folks back if we can. Say again? 
let's get our folks up here to interact with the, this, these folks instead of these BLM. Control the BLM. BLM. Yes, ma'am, just be advised. We understand that you guys are already en route to our ICP. Just want to confirm that is the case. Stop the affirmative. Thank you, ma'am. Do you have an ETA? 109 Central uh, VLMCP is asking for an ETA for the units to the CP. We actually moved the CP a little closer to the front. So. Yeah. So further up north, there's a bridge, and the uh, police are in the There's the horse. And the horse is going there's in. There's a lone reporter down there at the camera. They're telling him to back off, and he doesn't look too happy about it. He's not backing down. All that stuff they said over there, bullshit. Yeah, they're not. Going yeah. Down. Yeah. They claim we didn't see anything but before we got here. They claim that they pulled guns on the civilians. Back over this country, the thou house had so many fight for and die for that we will not forget them ever, ever again in our lives and we'll teach them to our children. Please help us as we go about this task that we will be safe. These people don't want to get hurt. Are you really going to shoot these people if they move forward? Yes or no? Sir, we can't hear your announcement that far away. We can't hear it. That's why I'm coming to you. They cannot hear what you're... They cannot hear what you're saying through the tunnel here. If you would just tell me, I'll relay the message. saying that they will open fire if we move any further. And these were these were housewives, you know, uh, fathers. I mean, just normal everyday people that came out to show their support and they were actually threatening to open fire on these people. So that was basically there. I had to just drop everything and run down and, and try to keep everybody calm for one, because we obviously didn't want people going down there, you know, running amok. And we wanted to make sure that everything was legal and constitutional and everybody stayed within their bounds as Americans. <laughs> The crowd is now moving forward toward the barrier. The police have been telling everybody they are going to shoot if we don't move back. While we took our shoes off for the interview, word had not yet reached the hundreds of protesters who were blocking traffic to Interstate 15. The battle was over. There's protesters out there blocking the highway right now. Um, are they aware that the deal has been made? I don't know. I don't know. I don't think they know. The deals are just coming through to me uh, uh, just within the last few minutes. People are moving forward with their hands in the air, holding flags with both hands in the air. It's a mixture of people on foot, as you can see, people on foot, and cowboys.
It's pretty hard to de-escalate when you got guys with helmets and M16s. I understand. Jimmy Amon. Rebellion. I know that's why I need. You know that? I mean, this is all Sir, over the world. You're going to see this. I know okay? that's why we're going to de-escalate right now. You got to de-escalate. You got to get these guys. These guys are going on. Get them back off. We're pushing right now. I'll start pushing. Get the guns off of us. Get the guns off of us. Hey, we're ready. Come here. This is a worldwide story. This is going on television in China. I know. No gun pointing. No guns. Get the guns off. Hey, get the, no guns on the Give me Eamon Bundy. Put your guns away. Give me I'm currently in negotiations with your family, all right, to find a piece of resolution to this. Don't escalate it down here. Allow me time to talk upstairs with Metro, all right, push these people back up off the gate. Push them back up off the gate. We're going to work to release these cattle. Listen to me. I'm going to work no, with you. No, no, no. I'm going to work with you. I, I understand that what you're doing, and you will get that time. Okay. okay? But we're not playing here. And, and I know. I get that. But can we push them back up off the gate for right now? Let me work with you and you. I'll allow you two to come in with me. You we're not going in, in there. there. We're, we're staying not getting arrested. Right no, you got my word that no one's taking in custody. If you want to stay there, that's great. Yeah. They're getting your dad up top. Do your thing. No, they're getting your dad and up we'll top. And we'll, we'll make sure that and we're you here as a president. Uh, help. If you uh, say it. Because it wasn't going to say it. I'm trying to say it. Let's go back. Let's get further. What are they saying? I'm going to pass right there. That gives us plenty of space. 30 minutes to work. I just got to push them back. Come on. Whoever's in charge. But I can't disengage all these people if those people are that close. You get that. So I got to push them back so it's safety, it's peaceful. Hey, my lethal. I want you guys to be ready for second wave, okay? When I call in second wave, come in. Okay. okay. You want me to switch out with my rifle? Yeah, switch out with the rifle. We're almost going to set, set the force. Sure, percussion, because of percussion. Are you fucking people stupid or what? Just let them, let them do this, you know? Just. Oh, fat dude, right behind the tree. He's got a long gun. Motherfucker, you come find me and you don't have hail to pay. <laughs> That's an interesting tactic. Good work, she's a genius. If not, <laughs> we're gonna. Haha, I'm gonna Pretty much a shoot for a test Yeah, I'm gonna shoot. I like to go. Sorry. <laughs> Got it. There's no gun there. No gun. No gun. He's just holding his back. He's standing like a sissy. He's just holding his back. He must not be married. Shoot his fucking dog first. All they need is one of them to fire. They know it's gonna fuck up real life. We gotta, we gotta have fucking fire this support. I'm recording, by the way, guys, so... Okay. Not actively assaulting us yet. final uh, approval to for you guys to come in here or with some organization and we'll go up we'll get the cattle and we'll
and drive them out. So well, we're going to be here. I know. I'm, I'm, I don't have a problem with that. I, I but, appreciate you. No, all right. Thank you. So I just wanted to come down here and at least let you know, hey, we're working would, on would it. Would you stay here? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, please yeah. stay here. Yeah, we'll watch stay here. You, watch you so here. Ryan's going to come down with Mark, uh -huh. uh, and then Ryan will explain everything to you again. Okay. And then what we need to do is develop a plan and okay. what? Okay. You good? Yeah. All right. I'll yeah. stay there. Alright, hey, good. Just enough. Good enough, back enough. Yeah, good. Good. We're going to have to back up. Back it 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 up. to leave and release the cattle in 30 minutes. But we, they want us to get back and farther so they can disengage. So let's give them that chance. Our units have backed up. Just give them some space in hopes that they'll disperse. One oh three, one oh two. No. All right, about twenty minutes. Uh, let's see if we can get those guys out of here in the next twenty minutes. All right. One oh three, one oh two. Go. All right, um, do you know why they're not rolling yet? They ain't got an idea? I gave him the 20 minutes, 15 to go, and he went down your direction, so he's down there somewhere. All right, I told Sal that we were bringing the Cowboys up at 2 o'clock. All right, I'm going to go try to find Dan real quick there. It's going to take them 30 minutes to get all these vehicles rolling, so they got to start rolling now. Here they go, BLN. Don't yell profanity. Police escort. Don't yell profanity. And price of contract. Thank you, bye. Go home. You're not law enforcement? Bundy said talks with Sheriff Gillespie fell short and that it was Bundy's team of supporters who rounded up the cattle to take back to his property. The state disagreed, saying they negotiated a deal to give back the herd. I'm not the hero. Those, those citizens that went up there and did the work and suffered whatever suffering they've been through. They're the heroes of America, not Clive and Bundy. Clark County Sheriff, as Lauren Rosella mentioned, Doug Gillespie played a key role in brokering the deal between the Bundy family and the BLM. In fact, he's been working on this, this behind the scenes for years now. Before protesters stormed the freeway, Gillespie worked to publicly negotiate with the Bundy family in front of his supporters. This morning, he told them as he addressed Bundy that the two would work together to find a solution. And Governor Brian Sandoval weighed in on all of this by issuing a statement. It reads in part, given the circumstances, today's outcome is the best we could have hoped for. I appreciate that the BLM was willing to listen to the concerns of the people of Nevada.